The Magic Pot. This story is of a farmer and his magic pot. In a faraway village lived a farmer named Rama. Rama was a good and wise man. He owned a few acres of land. Though he was a good farmer, his land never produced any grains. While other farmers harvested and sowed, Rama used to plow, plow, and plow. But his farm was always barren. Oh, Rama, why do you plow every day? This land has not given you a single crop since years now. You should sell this land and buy a good land somewhere else. Oh, brother, this land belongs to my ancestors. They used to farm on this very soil. I must be doing something wrong. I will keep trying. Uh, I wish you all the best, brother. Rama did not want to give away his land at any cost. He spent days without food. He ate fruits to survive. Every day he went and plowed. I will plow until I find out why my land does not yield crops. I sow every year. Where do my seeds go? Rama plowed and plowed. I am so tired. Rama plowed the entire field. It was late afternoon when he finally thought of resting. Rama was now too hungry to carry on the plowing. He was about to stop plowing when his spade hit something deep into the ground. What is this? Sounds like some kind of metal. Oh, what a huge pot! That's strange. Who would bury a metal pot so deep in a field? This is useless. Rama was angry for having wasted his energy over nothing. He threw his spade into the metal pot and sat in the shade of the tree. I think I must now sell this land. I cannot always stay hungry. This land will never give me anything. Rama rested under the shade, eating the fruits he had bought for himself. They were far less compared to the hunger Rama felt. He sat there for over an hour, thinking about his land and feeling sorry. He knew he had to give the land away. He had no choice. I have to be strong now. This ancestral land has to be given away. Hmm. I must go home before it gets dark. As Rama walked back to the pot to take his spade. He was shocked to see what had happened. What? Who kept this here? I was here the whole time. Rama found that the pot now had one hundred spades, just like the one he had. He could not tell which spade belonged to him. This cannot be. Is this a magic pot? Hmm. Let me try something. Rama took the one hundred spades out. And kept a single grape in the pot. He could not believe his eyes. That single grape was now a hundred grapes. This indeed is a magic pot. I cannot believe this. Let me take this pot home. Oh, this is heavy. Let me find a rope. Rama tied one end of the rope to the pot, and the other end to his waist. He then dragged the pot home. As he reached, he thought about other things he could put in the pot. Firstly, let me put an egg. I am very hungry and have only been eating very little fruit. Rama quickly went to the market and spent all his savings to buy one single egg. He then placed that egg in the pot. In no time, the pot was full of eggs. Rama was very happy. He cooked two eggs for himself. Ah, I have never tasted anything like this. But what do I do with the other ninety-eight eggs? Oh, I can sell these eggs and make money. Rama then realized that the pot can not only give him food to eat, but can also help him earn. After selling all the eggs, Rama used the pot for different things. When he needed cloth. He would place a small piece of cloth, 
Pot would give cloth to make dresses for at least 15 people. If he needed shirts, he would place a stitched shirt in the pot, and the pot would give out 100 shirts. In this way, Rama started putting grains, fruits, cloth, and even spices inside the pot. The pot kept giving many things. The villagers wondered about the farmer's success. However, nobody could discover the truth. Rama always hid his pot well in the corner of his house under a cloth. One day, Rama thought of testing his pot. He placed a hen inside and waited to see what happens. Suddenly, there were 100 hens jumping out of the pot, flapping their wings. Rama's house was now full of hens. There were hens everywhere. Oh, why didn't I put a dead fish instead? Oh, how will I catch so many hens? Rama ran after them, but there were too many. They sat on his table, flew onto the tarpai. One flew and sat on his head. Oh, get off! Come here, all of you! But the hens were scared and scattered everywhere. Suddenly... Oh no! Wait! One of the hens flew and sat inside the pot again. And again, there were 100 hens jumping out. Oh, my house has become a chicken coop. What do I do? Rama then quickly covered the pot and kept it in a corner of his house. He then ran out of his house. All the hens followed him. The villagers were surprised to see so many hens run out of Rama's house. Phew, so many hens. I must use this pot very wisely. But Rama had not realized that a king soldier was listening to him. He heard about the pot and ran to the king to explain the entire story. So many chickens from a single pot? How is this possible? This must be a magic pot. Bring Rama and the pot here immediately. That pot belongs in the treasury. Rama knew why the king had asked him to get the pot. The king is a greedy man. Maybe he wants all the wealth only for himself. Bring me the pot. This is a big pot. Hmm. But how can this pot produce so many hens? Let me see what is inside the pot. Oh no! Don't do that! But it was too late. As the king leaned in, he slipped and fell inside the pot. Now there were 100 kings climbing out of the pot. Before anybody could say anything, they all started fighting with each other. It's my throne! Don't go up there! No, it's mine! I am the king! No, this is my kingdom! The hall was full of kings. Save our king! Yes, uh, but which one is ours? The soldiers could not find their true king, and within minutes, the kings killed each other. The palace grieved, for now the kingdom had no one to rule. Rama soon realized how dangerous the pot is. He ran towards the pot and bang, dropped it on the floor. He was sad to have lost his magic pot. But Rama now had a land which grew crops. He started farming and lived a satisfied life.